Hey guys, John Vento back at you. Part of Garden Party with John and Beth. And this is very exciting for me because um, I've learned so much about roses through my friend Steven Scaniello at the Remember Me Rose Garden up at Flight 93. Uh, and I've never really had a rose garden before until right now. So I'm in my, what I call my gazebo garden. And uh, through the years, I've had lots of struggles. And this is going to be the first time that I really plant roses. And I, uh, this is the Julie Andrews rose. I know it doesn't look like much right now. The same rose that is at the Remember Me Rose Garden. And it came in a shipment of boxes. And uh, in learning from Stephen, we're gonna just take you through the steps real quick so you can have more successful roses. Be right back. Anyhow, here in Western Pennsylvania, and uh, especially at my property, we have tons of clay. So one of the things we've learned is to dig when you plant these roses, the hole much, much larger than you normally would and bring in some good soil in order to create a really, really nice base for the plant. After you do that and get a good pair of pruners, and I've got a rose right here, and you notice all those little stringy roots. Stephen taught us that what we do is take them and we kind of even them out with real good pruners. So you get a real clean cut. You balance off the roots first. Then where the plant is, you cut back to any new growth, as you can see. So you just cut back to new growth cut. So now I am ready to plant this beautiful little rose bush. And I have a nice base of good soil. And I'm going to go get a little bit of um, more good soil. And we'll get this thing planted. It's quite simple. The mound or the junction. Or... Mm. Okay. All right, ready? So then we make sure that this part of the plant is slightly above the ground. So I'm gonna build this up a little more, make sure that I don't plant it too deep, and then surround with my soil and with fingers, push the soil straight around, plant. Get a little more soil. Okay. okay. Then I got a nice, nice load of some fresh mushroom manure. Look how beautiful that is. We're gonna surround the plant with that. A little bit of mulch. And then we get our Epsom salts and we sprinkle that around the plant, a little rose tone fertilizer, and we're all done. So in about a month or so, I'm excited to bring you back and show you how beautiful these plants are gonna be. And thanks to our good friend, Stephen Scaniello, world-renowned Rosarian, uh, I think we're gonna turn this uh, garden into something special. Talk to you later.